I missed you guys. It's Mrs. H. We are going to be doing uh, colorizing of an old photo. And as always, we started with a oh, wonderful star, George Burns, the star of radio and then later TV and movies. But listen, we use AI to help start the colorization process. And then we're going to touch it up here in PicMonkey, PIC Monkey, my photo editor online. Okay, so here it is with the AI, and we're going to touch it up to make it look just a little more uh, pizzazz and a little more realistic. So I'm just going to take some airbrush over here. As you see, something was like going on with the original picture here. And so I'm going to just go ahead and touch that up. And I'm going to skin smooth it just a little bit. Kind of just don't want to do too much where it starts looking fake. Okay. And you know, I'm going to put a little airbrush on it just because the whole thing and I'm going to fade, I'm going to fade this. Don't worry. I'm not going to make it so crazy like this. And then we're just going to go ahead and fade that out. And there we go. Okay. This is a nice start. Let's go ahead and spray tan him, right? <laughs> and I love these big brushes. You don't have to be perfect, but you see here how it missed the ear. You don't want that. You don't want to miss the ear. You don't want the AI can sometimes is wonderful, but sometimes just, it can miss the spot, like miss a finger. Can you find the finger? Yeah. Like we do not want a black and white finger. It's like going through a time machine and happy you got stuck or something. <laughs> so what is going on there? Oh my goodness. And then the colors are not consistent. So we're going to just try to make the colors a little bit more consistent here. I'm kind of making him look like the devil here by accident. And I do not mean to <laughs> you remember. What was it? Oh, oh gosh, you devil or something. One of those old shows. I grew up, you know, in the 80s. And that's how I knew George Burns from all those old movies where he played something heavenly. I didn't know him from the old shows. I didn't know him until, you know, everything kind of went for a reverse for me because when I became an adult, I discovered Westerns and I was, I, I have to admit, I don't like Western movies. I'm not a big Western movies person, but I love Western TV shows. And so I fell in love with that genre and that opened the door to radio shows and things like this. So did you watch, did you listen to radio shows as a child? I'm going to put Orton. I love that. Or did you listen to it as an adult like me? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Orton kind of makes it look uh, bright and kind of like you're ready for your close up, Mr. DeVille. So Tuscan, the nice little orangey look. So we're going to put that on. We could always tone it down. Watch this. You go to color effects and then color changer. Go to orange. You say I want to just desaturate it. Voila. Very nice. Okay. So let's give his jacket more of a consistent look. We're going to go to touch up and let's go ahead to eyeshadow. Now eyeshadow is not really eyeshadow. It's, we just call it that, but it's really just like paint. So you click on a part of the outfit that you want to match the color. It's saying it's purple, but it's just like, doesn't look purple to me. Does it look purple to you? And then we're going to go ahead and try to just get everything consistent. What is going on here? It's like this really, like it looks like bleach went into the, <laughs> the jacket. Like, did Mrs. H wash my clothes again, Gracie? Okay. So let's go ahead and where's my dropper? Okay, I'm not seeing my dropper. Let's get his eyes looking right. So I tint. Looks like they're saying his eyes are kind of brown. Let's go with the green. Remember, we're not going to, we're not doing like making sure it's like historically accurate for us. We're just having fun. We want it to look nice. Maybe something that could go on your wall. And it's okay if it looks wrong at first because you can fade it. Sometimes making it look wrong at first helps you know where the color is. If you make it look too blended, you can't find out you can't find where the issues are to correct it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So eyeshadow, let's fix his cigar and 
We remember he always had his cigar in his mouth. I was walking through the store the other day and there was an older man, older gentleman, and he was wearing uh, a cigar in his mouth. He was holding a cigar in his mouth. It wasn't lit. <laughs> I think it might have been George Burns. I just thought, you're cool. I just thought that was so cool. I was like, do you listen to our radio channel? Because <laughs> we, we have the most interesting characters. Yes, I'm calling you a character because I'm a character too. We're not like everybody else that's just going through this world. And Okay, I want this to look more consistent. You see how this is like, the color is not looking quite consistent. I'm not happy with that. So what do I do? I'm going to try to put the dropper in another spot. There we go. I'm getting a little better here. Now this background is like a yucky gray. We do not want a yucky gray. So let's see if I can delete the background. Um, hmm. I'm clicking on the scissor and seeing what's happening. Okay. Now I'm going to move him to the side. Excuse me. Don't mind me. And let's find a texture. Maybe we're just going to find stone. Oh, it's not wanting to do that. Okay. We're going to put, let's put like, um, a shape in the background really quick. So we'll go to graphics. Basic. Let's do a big old squire. And don't worry, we're going to get George back. So I think, <laughs> I think we're getting him back. Let's put this nice background here. We're just going to do that. Now I have to find George. Come back. And we're going to bring him forward. Dun dun. Okay. Somehow or other, I feel like the background kind of makes him look a little fake next to it. So I'm trying to think how to make that go away. Fade and blend. Maybe we'll fade him a little bit. Let's see what happens. Goodbye. No, I feel like it's one of those 80s sci-fi movies and I'm making him turn into a ghost or something like that. Okay. But we'll leave it here for now. So what else can we do? We can make the colors, we can play with effects here. And effects and let's try Gordon again. I kind of like that. And we're just going to fade that out. And let's just do a couple more effects. I like my, the effects. I like, should we make it black and white? But I think I'm sort of missing the whole point. Vignette. Hmm. All right. I think just a couple more touches and we'll have like a nice picture. You know, I think let's play with the background just a little bit more. It's all about finding what you think looks right. It's all about finding your creativity. And making it shine. Hmm. We're going to find it. We're going to find the right one. What if we did a paint background? What if we went to paint? Let's try something really crazy. We're going to go down to paint. Got to get on that bar. Sometimes there's those happy little accidents like they talk about. And let's see if we can make that look good. All right. Sort of give it that painted wow feel. And let's try the effects one more time. I think I'm liking this. When you've taken that black and white picture and just making it your own. And then I'm going to put that intrepid on. And then I'm going to go to effects. And I think I'm going to desaturate him just a little bit. There we go. So I feel like now it still looks like an old picture, you know? Now, I feel like 
I want to move that background around. All right, so this is our finished picture. Mm, it's still a little too red. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I gotta do, you know, you just have to sometimes do it until you like it. Let's go, let, let's actually go to black and white, but we're not gonna go to black and white all the way. We're gonna be a little sneaky. Make sure you're clicking on the right picture. So I gotta get my George Burns one there. And now I'm gonna go to black and white and click on that. So that's how it looked in black and white. Now we're just gonna fade that. There we go. So now it kind of has that vintage feel. We gotta make sure he goes to the corner there. We don't want it to look like it's he's chopped off there. All right, so this is our after, and our before was when he was in total black and white. So let's just look at that. Highlight him, go to effects here, and we're gonna go down. It's total black and white. You just can't beat black and white, but this is just more about making them come to life for you. And this could be a nice picture that I would put on my desk or something like this. And trying just a, one more thing. You, have the, you can make it a little more orangey. Oh, that's what I like. There we go. La. Okay, please leave a comment if you enjoyed George Burns. If you spent the morning with me or spent the day with me, I'm so glad that you're with me. Have a great day.